this is part 9 of payroll ma management software uh, this is a continuation of previous video um, before watching this video please watch the um, payroll management part 8 video okay in this video we'll discuss how to insert employee attendance data in employee attendance table okay uh, let's start before that um, uh, year we give employee id then we select year then we select month uh, in that scenario we'll uh, check the record with the given employee id and the selected year and the selected month first we will check whether this record already exists in the table or not if that record already exists mean we will display the total days working days present days absent days and lop days if that record uh, there is no record in the table means it will be empty text boxes okay for that first we'll write code in this combo box month uh, selected index change in that event double click here we'll call the connection con equal to new connection inside this first uh, if cmb month dot selected index not equal to minus one means we will check the condition con dot that data get here select one from EMP attendance where in where condition will pass employee ID equals text EMP ID dot text and year equals cmd year dot text and finally we'll pass month equal to cmb month dot text okay next we'll create data table object dt equal to new data table we'll fill that data table object fill dt If dt dot rows dot count greater than zero means your instead of one we will select put start select start from okay if um, there is a record means um, text total days dot text equals dt dot rows of Here we'll pass the row index, it will be one uh, zero only two string. Next we'll assign values for working days present absent and LOP. So text uh, working days dot text equals here uh, I did small mistake. Here we have to mention the column name with a double quote total days in a, z a row index zero column name total in days inside this working days dot two string okay i copy these two lines and pasting below that your text present Your text absent copy this line again and pasting below your text LOP here we need to change this column name present days this will be absent days this will be LOP days then if there is record already exists means button save dot enabled false 
button update dot enable equals true button delete dot enable equals true now we'll implement a validation for this employee attendance screen okay for that uh, we'll use error provider tool okay now i will use this function um, which returns bool variable bool variable um yeah um will declare bool result false bool variable result we assign false okay if um this is for mandatory field we are checking the validation um yeah employee id year month and total days working days present days these all are mandatory field to insert the data in the table okay now for that if uh, text employee id or combo year uh, if anything is uh, we missed means it will show the error message employee id required select year select month like that if there is no error means uh, we assign that variable bool variable to true okay here we are getting the result as the type of bool okay now uh, we'll write code for this save button if validation here we'll call the validation function if uh, it returns true means we will come inside um, here we'll write uh, sql query to insert record here we have shortcut method go to mini sql server yes new query here right click design query in editor here select that table name employee attendance click close here um, right click change type to insert values okay here select all the columns okay copy this under pasting here for multiple lines use this at the rate symbol if you want to you can make it as single line inside this value we have to pass values for this column names employee id year month total days like that okay one by one we will implement first we'll pass text employee id dot text and then CMB year dot text and then month will be CMB month CMB month dot text and then working days um, text working days sorry before the text total days dot text then working days text working days dot text um, then we have present days column text present dot text then we have absent column text absent dot text finally we have lop days text lop dot text okay after inserting values in data table or SQL table, we have to um, inform the user uh, by showing the message box. Okay, so now we will use message box dot show inside. Um, we'll specify the message saved successfully. Then message title, whatever we can do then uh, message box buttons here we can use single button only ok button then uh, we'll display the message box icon information okay after inserting the record we need to clear the input uh, text boxes okay for that we'll call private void clear data inside we'll pass text employee id dot clear text uh, employee name 
dot clear and then cmb here dot selected index equals minus one this is the way to clear the combo box month dot selected index equal to minus one then clear data function is completed now um, now we call this function after displaying the message so clear data okay now save this all the modifications and run start the application now click login your employee attendance your select employee id enter then now here we select uh, year and then month will be july first we'll select month for june okay your total days june 30 working days 25 present days 25 k 24 absent one lop here we can specify or no need okay click this save button here we have the message saved successfully um, um, that input text boxes are cleared okay it's working fine now now we have to display the inserted record in next screen for that here we used view button okay now we will check it in this sql server select start from employee attendance okay execute this command okay now we have record for employee id one okay now if i press employee id one then select year 2018 then select month june it auto populates the total days present days absent days and lop days now we can easily update the record and we can delete the record okay and now it's easy for us okay we'll write code for this update and delete button okay if i change july there is no record we have to clear the text box oh, for that we'll write code now here go to selected index changed if dt dot rows dot count greater than zero means the values are displayed in these text boxes else that will be empty string so i just copy all the code and pasting here yeah it will be empty string then button save enabled true and then these are false update and delete button will be false okay save this now we'll write code for this update and delete button while updating and deleting deleting the record we must confirm from the user for that we will use this method dialog result here we will have message are you sure you want to update if they click s yes means we will come inside here we'll write a, a sql query for update the record um here we'll use shortcut method delete this right click design query in editor select table name employee close this yes change type to update okay in this table we'll update um present days absent days sorry total days working present days absent days and the lop days okay copy this sorry in filter uh, in bar condition we will pass uh, employee id year and month okay copy this and pasting here make it single line Your present days we have to assign the text box value text present dot text and then text absent days text absent dot text 
and then total days text total days dot text and then working days will be text working days text working days dot text and then lop days but text lop dot text and then here we'll pass where condition where employee id text emp id dot text and uh, in where condition we have to use and okay your year, year will be cmb year dot text and uh, finally month we have to assign month value cmb month dot text okay after updating the record we should display the message box and clear the data okay here yeah, updated successfully message box uh, other things are okay then we clear the data okay next we'll check this start the application login employee attendance here yeah. Select year so 2018, then the month will be June. Key year, and it's already displaying the record. Now I am going to change this present days 22, and then absent two days LOP 1. So absent three days LOP 1. Okay, click this update button. First, it's asking confirmation message. Click yes. Okay, now it's updated successfully. Okay, now we'll check this. Select employee ID, then select a year, then select the month June. Now it's um, a present days and absent days, LOP days are updated. Update operation is working fine. Now we'll write code for this delete button. So, delete button, I just copy this um, update code. Yeah, change this to delete and the message title will be delete here instead of this code delete from employee attendance in where condition we have to specify the employee id year and month okay delete from employee and attendance where employee id year and month we are passing now message will be deleted successfully then we are clearing the data okay we'll check this login uh, employee attendance okay now we'll insert one more record select month year then month july then 31 days working days will be mm, 25 present days 20 absent five days okay click save record save okay now again open the same record month year 2018 month will be july yeah, uh, if I click delete button, it's asking confirmation message deleted successfully. Okay, now we don't have record for this year and month. Okay, if record already exists, means the total days working days will display here. Okay, uh, okay, guys, I hope this video is helpful to you. Uh, in our next video, we'll discuss how to view the employee attendance in next screen. Okay. Uh, if you are, have any doubts, uh, feel free to leave your comments. Uh, thank you for listening this. See you there. Bye.